31, and there, done. What's up everyone, just adding the final dates to my Inktober prompts. This is a time of year where artists around the world challenge one another to develop positive drawing habits. If you're interested in participating, then subscribe to get new drawing lessons each day. So let's jump right into our first prompt. This is how to draw Loki, the god of mischief. Let's get started in the center of the page with the lower edge of the brow. Leaving a gap in between the eyes, we're gonna start on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then out. Let's line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Going up and then out. Let's move back to the inside and curl up the brow. Starting back on the left, we'll go in and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Let's add some thickness to the brow. Starting from the outside, I'm just going to tape the brow coming in and then down. And then we'll fill the eyebrows in black. Let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyebrows. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a circle. Going all the way around towards the bottom of the eye. Just pull that back up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. We'll bring this down towards the same height. Going out and then up. Let's add a small highlight circle on the left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye. We'll pull this in and then back out. Line this up on the right side. We'll tuck this up underneath the brow. Now I'm going to draw a small circle in the center of the eye, but we're going to tuck this in behind the highlight. So let's start on the bottom here, go around and back out. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll fill the pupils in black. Let's move back up and add a crease in between the eyebrows. From the left side, I'm going to step in. I'm just going to draw a short curve going up and then down. Now we're going to line up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center and draw on the nose. Starting back on the left, come down in the middle, and then back up. Now we're going to step up and draw a short curve, going up and down for the bridge of the nose. Now we're going to move down and draw on the mouth. We're going to start all the way over on the left side, curve the mouth going down, and up, and then we'll add a bracket to the corners of the mouth. And then going back to the center of the mouth, we're going to step down, draw a short curve, and down and up to the lower lip. Let's move to the outside and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, we're going to step out and draw a large half circle. So we come down, underneath the mouth, and then go out and back up. Let's accentuate the cheekbones. We're going to start back over on the left side, curve in and then down. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And now we're going to add a fold along the inside of the eyes. Starting from the left, come down and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Let's continue working our way up towards the top of the hairline. Starting back on the left, start by going straight up. And you're just going to bend that in. Do the same thing on the right. Going up and then hooking that in. And then from here, we're going to draw a straight line going up towards the top. Let's connect the left and right side with a curve. Starting out here, we come down in the middle, round this out, and then go back up. Let's add the ears along the side. We're going to line up with the outside corner of the eyebrow, step out, go up, round up the ear, come down, and then in. Line this up on the right. And then we'll add the folds inside the ear. Starting from the top, step down, curve up and out. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go back to the inside, go out, and then hook that back in. Now we're going to layer the hair going over towards the right side. So let's start on top of the left ear. Start by going up. Just going to round this out, and then just hook that down. And then we'll continue to layer the hair over towards the right. So we're going to step back, curve up in the middle, and then bring that down. Go back up, go up, and then down. Now from here we're going to step up, let's go out along the side of the head, and then down on top of the right ear. 
Let's curl the hair going out towards the side. Starting underneath the ear on the left side. Curve down and then out. Go over towards the right. And do the same thing. I'm just going to taper that back up and in. Let's add another curl. Starting back on the left. Come down and out. And we'll pull that back in. Let's create an overlap along the bottom. We're going to step back out, curve in and up underneath the head. Now we move down and draw the outside edge of the coat. Starting from the inside of the hair, curve out and then pull it all the way down towards the bottom of the coat. Go to the right side and come down towards the same height. Now going back to the left side, let's curve the coat coming down and then in. And we'll pull this straight up underneath the head. Let's add some detail to the coat. We start at the very top and go down and out towards the left and right. And we'll pull this down and in towards the inside edge of the coat. And from the bottom, I'm going to angle up and out towards the side of the body. Let's step up and draw that twice. Let's add a stripe along the bottom of the coat. From the left side, I'm going to step up. Let's follow that same curve coming in and do that twice. Now we're going to add some detail along the inside of the body. Starting right underneath the chin in the center, we'll step down, start with a point. From here, we're going to angle up and out towards the left and right. Let's go back over towards the left side. I'm going to draw a curve coming down the middle and then back up. Let's step down and draw that same curve. Let's add that strap going across the body. We're going to start at the very top, come down and bend that out towards the right. Step down. Draw that twice. Now halfway along the strap and draw an angled line going up. Let's go down to the bottom of the coat. We're going to step up and draw two angle lines. One coming down from the right, one from the left. Now from the right side, we're going to angle up and out towards the left side. And then from this point, we're going to angle up underneath. Now we're going to tuck the legs in underneath the coat. You need a gap in the center. Let's go to the left side, curl the leg going out and down towards the heel, go to the right side, and do the same thing. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot coming down, and then up, do the same thing on the right. Let's draw on the top of the foot. We're gonna start from the toe and curve up, and round this out, and just pull this down, aiming towards the heel. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up, and then bending that down. And then from the outside corner of the coat, we're going to step in, draw a straight angle line coming down on top of the foot. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We're going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. I'm also going to add the edge of the boot. From the top of the foot, we're going to step up, curve down, and then up on the inside. I also want to show the back side of the coat curving in behind the legs. So we're going to start on the left side, draw a straight line going across. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. We're going to start on the left side, go out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then from the wrist we're going to add in the thumb. Let's draw a small half circle coming in and then back out. And then at the end we'll add a small bracket. And then we're going to add three fingers on either side. We start from the bottom of the thumb, come down, round up the finger, and then go up around the bracket. I'm going to step down, come down and up with the second finger. And then the third finger is going to go out, round up the arm, and pull this up underneath the hair.
Let's add the cuff of the sleeves. We're gonna start from the top of the thumb. We're gonna angle down and out on top of the center finger. And we'll angle up and out towards the outside of the arm. Let's trace out the cuff. We're gonna step up, just follow the same angled lines. Coming in. From the inside of the arm at the very top, we're going to curve up and then out on both sides. Let's go back to that center point. We're going to follow that same curve in the arm going up and we'll angle up and out towards the outside. And then going back to the center, we're going to step up, draw two angle lines going up toward the inside of the arm. Do the same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Loki. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.